another video, baby. Yes, sir. What's good, it's your, it's your boy Prince Manchester so back again with another banger video for you know what I'm saying to today. Checking out rebounds, newest video, you know what I'm saying. It turns in NBA plus guard embarrassed, you know what I'm saying. So I'm going to check it out. You guys, share, check out the channel, like, share, and subscribe, you know what I'm saying. Show him some love, show him everything. You know, it's a good person. Same to me. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Let's get right into the video. We got a dunk so disrespectful, it made a grown man cry. Here's Jack. Against Dudley Knight. Damn. Dudley could not even foul him. Now that's disrespectful, that's but disrespectful. that's seven foot one Shaq. What's even more disrespectful is number 19. When seven foot six Yao Ming went up for a dunk on five foot nine Nate Robinson. Damn. Some said he didn't get it that time, but Brady bumps. Big. Oh, Robinson with the retention. Hey. Well, here's Nate Robinson coming over. That's a clean. No, no, no. This five foot nine man just slayed the giant and had Yao okay. hiding his face in shame. Disrespectful. Okay. But Damn. an even worse moment has to be number 18. When Damian Lillard hit the shot of shots over Paul George. Okay. Damn. Damn. Lillard, long range three. Yeah. Nah, that's crazy. Oh yeah, that's disrespect, man. That was a playoff. Not only did Dame knock the Thunder out of the playoffs with a crazy Damn. deep contested three, but this man waved goodbye afterwards too. G Damn, that's cold. Damn. Now a crazy three isn't the only way to disrespect a play. That's Sometimes one of the, ways, the disrespect man. comes from what you say, like number seventeen. Pay attention to Ben Simmons and Yusuf Nurkic here. Hey, you just feel better when he's in the building. Damn, Ben really said you talking a lot of for being ass. Damn. That hurts, man. Now, we gotta talk about Lance Stevenson, cause this dude's been blowing on ears and dancing on people for years. But his most disrespectful <laughs> moment crazy. comes in at number 16. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's not What's really legal. disrespectful about this clip is that Lance Stevenson doesn't actually cross Jeff Green over. He stepped on his shoe and made him fall. Lance Stevenson just played the entire arena acting like he did something. I want to <laughs> see a real crossover. Thankfully, James Harden's got us covered with number 15. Okay. Surprised that it's gone this well, or did you think it was certain? Harden, 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 goes in. Oh! That is crazy, man. Okay. Oh, step back. We didn't need to stand up. That is the most disrespectful crossover I've ever seen. But that's not the only moment Harden's oh. been a part of. Coming in at number 14, we have a moment between the Lakers and Rockets. Where they were playing a heated matchup that went down to the wire. Brandon Ingram gets frustrated when he gets called for a foul on James Harden. And he shoves the hell out of him. Before the gather, and he never put the ball back down. But that's not even the disrespectful part of this clip, because just a few seconds later. Uh, I don't. Chris Paul and Rajon Rondo start arguing, and Rondo hit Paul with a move that was out of line. He spit in Chris Paul's face, Jeez. and all hell breaks loose. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Damn. Security trying to separate so are some of the teammates. There's gonna be suspensions for this one. Hey, man, that guy is doing him, man. Hey, Ingram, hey, you go on you. Well, Lonzo found booting back. Rondo really spit on Chris Paul. And, and you wanna know Jeez. why Rondo did that? Cause Chris didn't drop a like and subscribe to the yeah. channel. Yeah, that's right. If you don't support the channel, the Rondo will pull up and spit on you too. And I know you don't want that. So what are you doing? But Ooh. anyways, the only way you can make a fight more disrespectful 
is laughing at the guy who's trying to fight you, like J.R. Smith did with number 13. Rozier hit a tough shot. Baines and J.R. get hooked okay, up. Okay, okay. Oh, J.R. with a push. Hey, yo, yo. And now Marcus Smart. Hey. Hey. This Whoa. Pre-season. Yo, chill. You know Marcus Smart was really mad, Babe. man. You got J.R. over here laughing his ass off while he's getting chased around the court. That's tough. But that's not as bad as number 12, when LeBron James bullied a rookie. Yeah, pay attention to this guy right here. That is Frank Nilakina. And he was in his rookie NBA season when LeBron decided to get disrespectful with them for literally no reason. Damn. LeBron is a clown, man. Hey, yo. How do you what the hell, bro? This dude is 19 years old. You're over here running into him, standing over him for no reason. Come on, man. But trust me, this is far from LeBron's most disrespectful play. Because okay. we got number 11. When Bron dunked on a man so hard, it literally changed his entire legacy. You're 20 of 30 here tonight. Jason Terry. Okay, making the one. Fast and affordable ride. Damn, these the odds, bro. Button. Oh. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh. And a technical foul called on Miami for the taunt. Man, it's crazy. Just watch as they lay it up there. Watch this. This one play literally defines Jason Terry. I mean, just listen to him talk about it. And then the worst thing about this is Every time I go, I'm, I'm, I'm in arenas or I'm at the grocery right. store, little kids coming up to me, hey, hey, aren't you Jason Terry? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, me. That's me. Then why did LeBron dunk? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, come I'm on. Sorry. That's the okay, only thing people know about you. But not every play has to be this crazy to be disrespectful. Sometimes a player is just sensitive and they get offended easily. Just like number 10, featuring Robin Lopez. Uh oh. Damn, mm. number 42. Sick the chair, man. Jared Culver said three words and barely stared at this man. And Lopez gets all in his feelings. Ridiculous. Damn. But coming in at number nine, we got to talk about how disrespectful Jared Dudley is. See, back in 2019, Dudley had some beef with Ben Simmons. Okay. And after hitting a three against Philly, Dudley was feeling himself and decided to disrespect okay. not only Ben Simmons, but everyone watching the game as well. does jared dudley think he is how the hell are you gonna be built like a chicken nugget and hold your arms out like you're mike tyson i feel disrespected right now you haven't earned the right to gloat like that but at least mr potato head didn't scream in someone's face like marcus morris did in number eight damn okay cross go going for the layup hey you ain't nothing Damn. I'm surprised a fight didn't break out. Like when Morris went out of his way to stand over Larry Nance Jr. in number seven. Hey, where you at? Where you at? Yo, man. Just then. Yo, 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 chill. Damn. Yo, yo, relax. That's exactly what happened in number six. Hey, you, you. Damn, okay. Man's going for the. Does this man not know what sport he's playing? You can't just run full 
force into a man and Shit, attack this guy him. The hell are you thinking? Him. All right, now we've been looking at a lot of recent disrespectful moments, but for number five, we got to take a look at a classic. When Scottie Pippen completely humiliated one of the toughest guys the NBA has ever seen, Patrick Ewing. Oh. Damn, this for odd, man. The guy in This man not only put Ewing on a poster, but he even threw a little smack on the way down. I'm honestly surprised this didn't turn into a fight. I mean, we've seen fights break out just from a little shove, like number four. Okay. Hey, yo, 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 relax. Yo, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Next Bengal video coming out next Sunday. Probably a little bit earlier. Thank you.